Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Today is another day of daily prayer, and I am so glad that you could be with me again today. And today we are going to have a wonderful time in the Lord. So if you will, go ahead and grab your Bibles. Amen. And turn over to 1 John 1. Amen. And that's 1 John, not the book of John, but 1 John. Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. And while you're doing that, I just want to say thank you for joining me. Thank you for taking time out to seek the Lord. The the Bible says where there are two more gathered together in his name, then he is in the midst of us. So we welcome Jesus here in the midst of us. Amen. Yes, we do because without because Jesus is the reason. He is the foundation of for our faith we are a part Jesus is the head of the body the body of Christ and we are the part we are part of the body amen amen and as we're going to have a little time in study today i just want to encourage those that are with us that don't know jesus you just enjoy coming out and and meeting together and you enjoy the presence of god i want you to stay around with us you can take part uh, in more of what of what we experience when we meet together as Christians, and we're going to have some time to lead you to the Lord. But uh, today we are going to talk about repentance. We are going to talk about repenting from sin. Amen. Because I know that some of you have some issues that it just seemed like you just bumping up against the wall. You can't um, either. You can't. You, you have a problem with forgiving somebody or you have a problem with it seems like there's always some strife in your home or there's always, uh, uh, you know, uh, something going on with your children. It just seems like there's chaos in the home or at the job or wherever you go. It seems like you, you know, you just can't catch a break. You probably feel like um, you can't even get a prayer through to, to God. You when you when you you have a feeling, a sense of whenever you pray that God doesn't hear your prayers. But I want to rest assure you that God does hear your prayers. But let me just submit this to you that there may be an issue uh, where there's sin where there is some existing sin in your life that you have not confessed to God amen and the the Bible says in Isaiah that uh, God's hands are not shortened neither uh, is he you know neither is he unable to hear but it's sin that is separated uh, us from our God so we have to confess that yes we are born again and we have received Jesus and the very purpose this is the reason why Jesus came so that so that his blood could continually atone for our sins and remit our sins but you got to confess it you got to confess your sin. You know that, right? And let's read over in 1 John. You have to confess your sin. Even when you get born again, you have to ask God to forgive you for sin. Amen. And even uh even before and even after you're born again, if you if you sin according to the word of God, you commit some acts of sin, you got to confess it. Now here, let's read over in 1 John. First John is talking to believers, okay? So I want you to I want to make sure that you understand that. He's not talking to the world. He's talking to the believers in Christ. Amen. Amen. So 1 John Okay, let's start at verse let's start at verse 8. It says, if we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. So if you confess your sin, then you will be cleansed. And it's that sin, that very sin that will cause havoc sin can open up the door to a a lot of the demonic activities that you may very well be experiencing that you and it seems like you can't get a handle on it you know you you lost favor at your job you can't uh 
things just are not going right. If it seems that way, then I'd like for you to do a checkup on unconfessed sin. Amen. And just ask the Lord and just, you know, just think back, you know, is there anything written in here that you've in the Bible that you've violated against God? You know, uh, has there been some strife, division? Um, has there been, uh, you know, some uh, anger, wrath, jealousy? These things are sin, brothers and sisters. And these have to be confessed before the Lord. You, you can't just gloss over that. Because that sin is what is separating you from your God. Amen. So that's what we're going to do today. Amen. Uh, and I want to read verse 7 here just because I think it's important. It says, but if we walk in the light... As he is in the light, we have fellowship one with another, and the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. Amen. So there you go right there. It, the verse says, the blood of Jesus is what cleanses us from all sin. So now, amen. So now we're going to go into prayer. I'm going to help lead you and start you in prayer to confess sin. Amen. Many of you know how to do that, but I want to help you uh, just in case you don't. All right. So let's just repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I come to you in the name of Jesus and I want to confess my sin before you. And I confess that. OK, I'm like to start with this. I confess that I have unforgiveness or I have an offense towards and I'll let you fill in the blank and yeah you go ahead and fill in the blank you think of the people that you have unforgiveness towards or you have an offense towards fill in the blank fill their names in or it doesn't have to be somebody it can be an organization a group of uh, you know people or or something you have an offense fill in the blank and just say Heavenly Father I choose today to forgive these people. I choose to forgive these people because you said in your word that if I will not forgive, then neither will you forgive me. Amen, 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 amen. Amen. I feel some chains breaking right now. I feel some chains breaking right now. Amen. Now, let's pray another pray prayer. Say, Heavenly Father, I confess that I have sin in my life. And I confess these sins. And you fill in the blanks of these sins. I was jealous of my I was jealous of my sister or brother. I was I I have uh you know, I was I told a lie. Or I watched something that I shouldn't have watched. Or I took, you know, I, I took some, I drank, I drank alcohol. Or, um, you know, you may, maybe watched some pornography. Confess it. Confess it before God. Get clean. Tell him everything you've done. Come on now. This is, a, this is about reality. This is tell God what you've done. And say, Heavenly Father, I confess that I've committed these sins in violation of your word and I ask you to forgive me and I I want to repent of these sins and I ask you Lord to wash me today in the blood of Jesus Christ thank you Lord thank you Lord thank you Lord I know somebody's getting free I can feel the power of God I can feel it and you can too you can feel that spark you can feel that there's something been broken I hear the sounds of chains breaking off of your life amen 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 yes brothers and sisters it's important that you do this it, every day you must confess your sins every day if the Holy Spirit brings something across your, your heart your mind that you've done don't hold it quickly confess that sin he's there to help you the Holy Spirit is our counselor 
He's our counselor. He's our guide. He is going to lead us in the way of righteousness. And he teaches us all things. Amen. Amen. Now, if you are here with us and you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, then I'm glad because now I'm going to lead you in a prayer. And I want you to pray with me after this. Say, Dear God, I come to you as a sinner and I want to be saved. I ask you to forgive me for all my sins. I want to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. I confess with my mouth and believe in my heart that Jesus Christ is Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Now let me pray over you. Say, Father, so Father God, I ask that you will fill these new babies in Christ with the Holy Spirit of God. I ask that you would fill them today in the name of Jesus Christ. I ask that you would fill them up with the Holy Spirit. Raise them up to be mighty men and women of God who will take the gospel to the world in Jesus name hallelujah in whatever capacity you call them in the marketplace on the mission field wherever you call them Lord in the corporate in pol political arenas in Hollywood father I ask that you would raise them up to take the gospel to the world amen amen now in Jesus name I know the next thing you got to do now you've got to go and find your church home you've got to go find a church home and you speak to that pastor and let them know that you want to that you want to be baptized you just confessed Jesus as Lord and now you want to be baptized amen all right I'm so glad again that you can join me again and what a wonderful powerful study today and I just felt led of the Lord to do that so again remember if you have unconfessed sin it is imperative that you confess that before the Lord amen all right I just look forward to meeting with you guys again on another day of daily prayer take care have a great day bye bye